G'day and welcome back for more assertive acquisitions. We're gonna get more batteries. Uh, oh. yeah, we do have more batteries to collect from the ships around here. I've been a little bit busy. It looks like from the state of your ship, you haven't been all that busy. Because it's there's still a lot of fire around here. Well, I called the NRMA, but they haven't shown up. Are you a member? Nope. That might be why. Do they have a lunar branch? I don't know. I got a, I got a robot answered the call. Uh-huh. Well, we do have we do have more batteries we can grab because we've got all the ones from these two ships. Um, if anyone wants to help me with that, but while you guys have been not doing a whole lot, unless TFE's got a whole lot he wants to show off. Hey, we helped you capture that ship. We no? helped you capture that ship. Thank you very much. <laughs> well, do you want to have a look at the uh, mothership? There are some differences. It's, uh... I swear every time, I think you've changed the purple slightly. <laughs> the purple has not changed at all. I mean, there's mauve now. So... That's a change. One of the things I was thinking about when um, trying to decide how to put together the armor for this ship was I realized I was really fighting hard against space engineers with how I'd put it together. Like, I'd... I'd been trying to make curves and flowing curves and space engineers unless you're very very careful about your pre-planning just really can't pull that off very easily so I was like I'm sick of fighting it I'm just gonna I'm gonna relent and I'm going to go Transformers 1985 I mean yeah you'd have to go even <laughs> larger to get um, cause um, it wasn't my intent but I, I feel like this is kind of giving me those vibes right now with the way I've done this armor now. So what is this going to transform into? A robot? Probably rubble. Ah. It'll eat an asteroid. I mean, we'll probably have to eat an asteroid to make it. That's All true. I've put in at the moment is iron. Um, I'm currently working on the back end of this armor area. Hey, it's got one functional uh, corridor. Oh yes, your little corridor you worked on. I mean, it's when you say uh, a functional corridor. Oh, like something. Did you do something in here? Yeah, I changed all this armor. That's what I was literally just saying. Oh, that's why it's so cramped. Yeah, it's changed. I had to change because I needed to make the. The shapes work better with Space Engineer's shapes, so I wasn't fighting against the block systems that we have. I was I tired of fighting with it. it. Yeah, you are. Um, I was just tired of fighting with it, because uh, every time I tried something, I was like, no, that's not quite working. No, that's not quite working. No, that's not quite working. And I'm like, you know what? No, stop fighting it. Just try and think of something good that works with the system you've got. And this is what I came up with. And I, I actually Inventory think this is working better. And Inventory also allows us to full. do some very large greebles. Inventory full. Because uh, these cutouts in the armor section. It, it's I'm weirdly enjoying building with the weldless armor. I am probably going to change it all up later, but for now I'm like, let's just leave it. Let's try it. Let's go. Let's yeah, it does does look like it's escaped from a cartoon. It does, doesn't it? And, and that's what made me think Transformers. I thought it was the purple. The purple that made me think Transformers. Yeah. No, no, it was the shape. It looks like Shockwave or Astro Train. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree with that. Um, so yeah, I was, I was gonna try and clean up a bit of our, the stuff we've got around here, and hopefully, the two of you can help me with some of that. Uh, but I was also gonna continue working on this design, and I was hoping, now that I've got this sort of stuff laid out. Uh, Capac will have a better time doing his little bits of design in here too. Actually, if we get all the valuables out of the ship, the amount of uh, steel plate these things are made out of can be very useful. Uh, yeah, true. True, true. Oh, uh, Tiffy, did you end up ever doing anything about storage on your ship so we could go do a mining trip for ice? Did I do storage? I don't think I did. I was playing some sort of cargo container bank somewhere. What I was doing is make it so my um, 
connector is, you know, actually piped in and not just... Um, well, I mean, that's important if we're going to use you as a hauler for carrying lots of ice. I would like one of you two, or even both of you two, to come with me to the... Yeah, both of you. To the North Pole. To meet Santa Claus. Yeah, to get big piles of ice as a present. From Santa. That doesn't sound like a great present. And if you're in a desert, it's probably a great present. Are we in a desert? Sort of. I guess the Do moon... Do you see any water? I guess the moon does suffer from a severe lack of precipitation. <laughs> yeah. But, uh... Why is it saying I have no... No... End to that sentence? No power or hydrogen. Oh, did TFE just steal all your power and hydrogen? Oh. Uh, well, I'm not on stockpile, so you should be able to steal some back. And you should be able to put your batteries on recharge because we've got those ones set to discharge that we got from that um, NAT. Yeah. Okay. Battery on... Wait, it's saying my battery's at 96%. So why was my power at zero when I was detached? Because that's power usage is the number that's over on the right. Okay. Um... It's not power amount available, it's power used. It is confusing because it is literally above the hydrogen fuel gauge, but... Ah, uh, yeah. okay. Hydrogen stockpiling. This is why we need to go get some ice, because if you two are both draining the base, we need to make sure that you can drain it and get full. Or actually, just hold still. I'll come in and see what I can repair while you're in your current position. Do you have a projector on there with your blueprint? Uh, no. Um... Okay, so it's, it's saying I've got 18 days of power. Yep. Saying I've got full hydrogen. Yep. Saying oh. all hydrogen thrusters are on. They all look off to me. But I can't move. They all uh, look do, they, do they look on now? No. Okay. Try hopping in and out of the cockpit and doing it again. Uh, your hydrogen tank's still on stockpile. Uh... Maybe. I've started some of the repairs. Just remember I am flying over the top of you right now. Yeah, I might need some clearance so I can get free of the magnet on the lock. Alright, I'm clear. Uh, what? Okay. Does she? Is that uh, die? No. no. You uh, ran into some things. I almost died thanks to the <laughs> connector almost whipping the whole ship around. Uh, so it's mainly the jump drive at the back there and those batteries that need repairing and this go thruster fixed um how did you fit two large cargo containers in there tf uh, by not putting them inside ah so they are <laughs> sort of temporary. they are external but uh, uh, not really i'd say they're in a position where they can be fairly permanent they hang lower than your thrusters, or are they the same height? Uh, they are same height. Good job. Alright, I think, Capac, I've done most of the bits that I can... Oh, what was that? Yep. A welder. What the... Uh... It is really easy when this thing is fully loaded to smash a welder. Mm, it's got a lot of inertia. Alright, so Kapak, your ship's good to go for ice mining and tear for yours as well? Uh, yep. Cool. Alright, so Kapak, you can carry, we worked out like 300 or 400,000 kilos of ice, I think. Something like that. Alright. Come with me. You'll see a world of frozen precipitation. Precipitation? I don't know, probably not. It rained millions of years ago. I was trying to think of something that fitted roughly, and that was the closest I came up with on a short notice. Come back took 50% of my fuel. <laughs> I've only got 22% now. Well, that's why we're getting ice. Uh... Oh no! Come back! Oh! Jeez, oh! 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 <laughs> you slowed down and you're right in front of me. I didn't slow down, I'm coasting. Well, I don't have my dampeners on.
Oh no! Get back! No! Oh! Whoa. <laughs> Jeez, you slowed down and you're right in front of me. That was uh, terrifying, having to do evasive maneuvers in a... Yeah, Capex yeah. coasting at 26 meters a second. That was all you, TFA. Yeah, I was going a lot faster than that to catch up. <laughs> you only have scale, one braking thrust. I don't have thrust. much sense of speed. No, I mean, yeah, the only one braking thrust probably doesn't help. Alright, we can probably go faster now that everybody's here. I mean, we can probably slow down now that I can see the landing zone. All that too. Tiffy's connectors on the rear. Capac's got a connector underneath, which I can get to. Uh, you could both clamp yourselves to the top of the cliff so I can connect. And I'll float. Cool. Yes, it'll work. So just uh, just outside the edge or in the middle? No, no, in the middle of the ice, just. Yeah. Capac's got a spot that I drilled out for him a while back, so he'll connect there. That was lucky. That was very lucky. What did you do? Um. So. I might have switched lock on the wrong connector when I was connecting to Kamak's ship. And the only reason I didn't crash into the ground was that the magnetic strength of the connector held me up. <laughs> until I could switch lock on the correct connector. Because I'd turned off. Because uh, I'd turned my tanks to stockpile. Uh, your ship should be good to go, Kapak. 1.2. Ooh, don't go too far. Guess we'll find out. I hear a massive explosion in the distance. <laughs> it does have lift. I mean, yeah, I'm still going up, but it's very slow. You're going to have to go down very slowly. Yep. Oh, can't believe we managed to get back with all these ships and still no damage yet. Don't say Don't that just say as I'm it. trying to land! Oh, <laughs> uh, what the- <laughs> What the- <laughs> Why did you boost downwards? I didn't, I just dropped out of the sky. <laughs> no, you, you boosted, it look- I saw you boost. You had a big thrust that just pushed you downwards. I got 66 fuel. Yeah, yeah, you pushed downwards with your thrusters. Can you take off again? Or did you I lock? Mean, that doesn't make of, any sense. One of I your would've... hydrogen tanks is incomplete now. Is it damage your conveyor connection? Well, it busted a hole in my cockpit. It's not pressurized anymore. Okay, you still got lifting thrust. Yeah, you crashed into the wall. You came away from that with very minimal damage. But yeah, yeah. I, was, I was almost in position to land, but I just dropped like a rock. On what I saw was all of your downwards pushing thrusters flare massively like an old person hitting the accelerator instead of the brake and going through the front wall of their house. You're just saying that because you told me to turn them off. <laughs> that's, I, it's literally what I saw. I don't know if that's what you pressed or if something weird happened or if it like lagged and you pressed you tapped down and it lagged and then held it on there for too long but that's what that's what i saw when i use stockpile i only do it until my ship's got 50 percent fuel so i don't drain everything maybe just don't do stockpile yet tfe like no, I was suggesting. Um. curious how much ice we've got in total after uh, all that. let's have a look still got over a million two million uh maybe two and a half ish a lot. What the? Oh. Might be up to two and a half mil. The door exploded. What? We're trying to get out. It just. The door exploded. What did you do? No, uh, the the sliding airlock door yeah. lock was one of the Ow. blocks that was destroyed in the impact. Ow. Oh, there's a big hole in the side of the. Oh. Uh, uh, Kabak, if I you mean... place down the blocks, I'll bring the welder ship. I mean, there's also a hole over here as well. That's it. I'm going to build well, a monastery right and I'm going to become a monk. What the? <laughs> that wasn't here before. How did that happen? Probably the, the same time. Be, the no, this is... To be underground. This, nothing could hit over here. You damaged this. It, this was fixed. Your O2 farm was fixed. It could easily have damaged over here because no, you no, twisted. No, it wasn't. Yeah, well, I was slightly off to the side. Before. This is like 
five blocks away. I did not have the rotor on, so it wasn't spinning. But there's no, there's no way it could have gotten close enough to this wall. I thought you were, cl you were definitely closer to the left, like you were over yeah, to the yeah, left. But, I think but you were by, only by like one or two blocks, not by like five. Well, maybe, maybe there was it hit something down here and the damage did. Yeah, to hit explode. the C four that you planted. <laughs> wow. Let's see, what was we you really need a tinfoil hat wrong? suit. You say something about how we hadn't had any damage yet? No, I was saying we, were, we it was so nice having us work cooperatively on something that wasn't combat. Told you we jinxed it. <laughs> it is so funny. It's, I thought for a second that you'd done the boosting on, on purpose just because you wanted to tell me that I jinxed it. <coughs> that is not the case. No, if, if he was going to do that, he would have crashed into one of your ships. Uh... Probably. They just fixed it all. As I said, if you place down blocks, I'll, I'm happy to come and help and weld it with the welder ship. Yeah. Hey, the later. welder ships never cause more damage on something. I mean, at, at least at least fix up your cockpit and your and your ship so your ship's functional. Yeah. Because I want I'm keep because so. I'm keeping an eye on the on the ships up there, and you were a, your ship is heaps better at capturing the cargo ships while we're still in semi uncertain conditions. TFE would have a lot of trouble grabbing on with his little flippers uh, whereas your nose mounted connectors are, are a lot Make more Make him sound like he's some kind of fur seal. <laughs> well, I mean if the mitten That's fits. Thinking. I'm trying to think. It's sort of like a clownfish but it's whale sized. Yeah, I'm surprised you didn't do the a whale clown. It's a big Clown White whale. stripes on the side. Uh, what do we do? Yeah, back. I curse you for making me want to weld this as I go. Makes it so much slower. <laughs> it does look heaps better though. It makes each part look and feel better. Still don't know what to do with this extra space in here. Well, I think to some extent I wouldn't stress over it too much because can always fill it in later. Yeah, and it's it's kind of I think a lot of those connection places, as long as we have the idea that they're gonna be used for something, as in we're going to fill them in and we're gonna decorate them and the like, then it means that as we go through doing everything else, we make sure like we'll be aware of that and it should prevent us from doing anything that completely blocks it. Cause it, really those connection spaces don't I feel like I struggle to make them make sense until I've got the places they're connecting to built. Yeah, yeah. Go up there. Another Columbus. Do you guys want to go after that hammerhead? Just to see what it is and if it's got fuel tanks, then we go properly after it. If it bites us. And we bite back harder. Inventory full. Ship doesn't have any biters. It does. The spring it's got has got feet bite. on the front. Yeah, but you won't be going in the in the the Polo Conflict, are we going in the Paprika? I mean, Paprika's got a little bite to it, I guess. Yeah. You do have a Paprika at the moment, don't you? Not as much as a peppercorn. Uh, I don't... think so. Um, you I think it... You finished your hangar of doors, either. Huh? You never finished your hangar doors. I mean, I... My paprikas very rarely last long enough to need them. Uh, well, I've got one printing off for you. I guess I'll wait for it to have charged up a bit before I keep an eye on what uh, cargo ships are up there so we can go and check them out. Let's move my survival kit off the bridge. It's like having little combat interludes to my construction. So I don't get burned out on building armor. Sorry, what was that, TFA? Uh, I'm just moving my survival kit somewhere off the bridge so I've got a bit more space. Probably makes sense to have it off the bridge as well, because if you die on the bridge, it means your survival kit's probably destroyed. You die on the bridge, you die in real life. Uh, okay. Just like that movie, Nightmare on Elm Street. I think possibly up the top of the rear here would make for a good sort of engineering 
area for like FTL drives and things. Remember, they're three by three by two. Yeah, yeah. Each, and this thing's gonna need several. Yep, that's fine. So like, it'll probably occupy most of this area back here, like top oh. to bottom. This part down here's gotta be like a hangar or something. No, no, it can be the next section forward. Why does it have to be that bit? Because I made these windows. <laughs> So, our entire design ethos is uh, dictated by your windows. Yeah, if that I build well a window... could well be looking into a reactor room. No, that's boring. Uh, hmm. Unless we make, like, a big, crazy, spinny reactor or something. Yeah. Uh, once, once we see how heavy this thing is, we may well be able to get w away with a whole lot of subgrids just because the thing's so yeah. heavy it can't be Did... turned by its subgrids. Do you mean to have these interior spotlights? Uh, they weren't interior originally. They've just become interior as I've reshaped the armor a few times. Um, the colors that I've currently selected for the ship are not final. They were just nice contrasty colors that I thought would work for now. So, Kapak, what do you think of the back end now? Uh, let me have a look. Uh, oh, thanks. TFE, you may as well offer your opinion. Um, I'm just phasing through solar objects apparently. Okay, you do that. Enjoy. So then the next sort of layer will be like the armor blocks that fill in the gaps, I'm guessing? Uh, yeah, once... I'll probably have to rearrange the way that the thrusters are set up there because it made more sense when everything was more curvy. This may need more angular arrangements, but... Um, yeah, that'll be filled in with either turret... with a mixture of turrets and thrusters and armor blocks. But I wanted the the layer that's currently cut in. Yeah, the the first armor layer will be at least one block behind that. Yeah. Okay. Looking pretty good. No critiques, no concerns. Uh, it's kind of going to be hard to say until that next layer is in and the engines are more substantial. Yeah, it's hard. It, it is a bit hard to tell with all the scaffolding, isn't it? I think the general engine placement looks all right. And it's going to require a lot of piping and yep. things to be set up correctly. Uh, I have already run conveyors to all of the... Um... The hydrogen ones? Yep. Yeah. So what are we doing okay. here? What did I miss? Uh, just having a look at the back, back of the, the carrier. Oh, yeah. Seeing if the design warrants any uh, revision. I'm already gonna... thinking on what earth we're going to call this thing worried about a name until it's finished the moon killer <laughs> it does look like it should have a super weapon the star annoyer yeah i'm gonna do more cutouts in the big flat areas of armor to bring in the other colors and stuff so the purple isn't as flat as it currently is but the the flat is just a nice easy way for me to start and then i look at where the cutouts might work best and i'm probably going to be able to do some extra like bits that stick out as well not just cutouts but additions as we go down the main bit of the hull i was thinking of having some bits that look like some bits that we can use to create more negative space along the larger hull segments where am i going to put the lateral thrust where am i going to put the down thrust where am i going to put the up thrust in this thing uh on the sides underneath and so helpful TFA. all of so them helpful. internal I mean, that is internal. possible, but... Internal thrusters, yeah. Yeah, I'm not a big fan. Kind of fun greebling and designing stuff when I'm working with this flat colour. Like with the welder skin. Because I don't have to deal with any other um, design elements. It's just my own whatever I put there. Yeah, but you run the risk of then when you change it, it comes up real weird. Yeah, I may well not change it at this point. <laughs> I've had it this way for so long and just like lean into the cartoony aspect that I've gone for. It'll make it really distinctive at a distance. I need steel plates to build armor blocks. If I don't have steel plates, what have I got? Uh, plate, probably. So come back, what were you talking about with the uh, false ceiling? Where? Yeah, okay. So the way that I've laid out the grid for the like the corridors and the ship interior. Oh right, because I've lifted the top. There's yeah, you've lifted the top, so there's like a space above. But that like 
that means it'll be really good for putting like lights and things up here and then working around them to make sort of decorative ceilings for the bigger spaces in the middle yep um and there's also like if you come and have a look at what i've done with the armor on top you get an idea that if there are certain areas that need even an extra block there might be a way to do it oh because you're going going up with the half block for parts of it like that those bits are in white currently oh. so instead of having them cut ins like i've done on the wing bits on the extra armor bits on this bit it's an extra bit of cladding in the extra color uh, okay so that's how i'm breaking up the large flat areas okay so we're gonna chuck all these wrecks into the grinder pen um Ooh. uh maybe after we capture a telesto gas hauler that goes better than last time. Capac's ship should be ready and... Oh, and it's flying towards us. Yeah. Oh boy. Printer's open for you, Capac. You're just going to move it onto your... onto your dock. I'll grind you free if you want. Can I turn my engines and my batteries on before you disconnect me, please? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I don't know what I was thinking there. I was... That was... That was a moment of pure dumb. Uh, why can't I move? Your thrusters aren't on. Which means you're probably on recharge. I, I'm on auto for the battery. Uh-huh. All thrusters on. Oh, now yeah, it's working. Well, since we're going to combat, I'll print off another one. Yeah, probably a good idea. Should go through a lot of these things. Good thing we got infinite materials to build them. Alrighty, let's do this thing. Remember, avoid the tanks. Is what that is... the ship? Yeah, but the, it's kind of a long one part of the ship, so if we shoot it from the top, if we imagine the tank's at the bottom. And we do not fly it back without assistance. I mean, oh. it, ironically, we've probably collected enough ice, we don't need this, but if we get four full tanks, that's yeah. amazing. Why are there so many skippies about? Um. Some sort of breeding program? Ah, uh, yes. Breeding the bush kangaroos. Come back, remember, stay out of range of it. Sp Space wasp and fruit fly inbound. Not sure if they're on me or you. Come back's getting shot at because he's gotten in gun range. Come back, why are you still in gun range? Because I'm chasing this guy. This thing against the lighting. Yeah, that's why you go to the sun side of anything when we attack like this. Oh, I hit with the first shot. Oh, yeah. Took you can't make an omelette without really getting in gun range of a few eggs. <laughs> right. Oh, my first hit was to blow its antenna straight off. That's not necessarily good. Not really, no. Oh. I'm distracting its fire. Oh, I took out one turret. hit another one at the same time you did. Um, Looks like I'm just more. about maneuvering enough to out uh, pace its bullets. That didn't feel good. Oops. I think some bits fell off. Oh dear. You collide with still, something again. Still fighting though. Oh, turret down! I think it's disarmed. Think it on the top. Scratch one drone. Oh. Alright, I'm closing in on it. I'll get in on foot as soon as I get close. Uh, is that fruit fly still active? Yep. It's got a it's gun fine. underneath, but that's yep. okay. Just be careful shooting that back. Whoever's shooting that. Yeah. Because you know, uh, you're yeah. shooting near the tanks. There. Whoa! Big. Somebody just clipped. Wanna, give me a situation report on the locust and the fruit fly. Uh, I see a fruit fly that's 700 meters yeah. from me. I'm engaging them. Oh, the ship's trying to make a run for it. And it hasn't got a signal. It's all right. I'll, st I'll stick on the ship. Yep. Um, I'm half tempted to jump out of my wasabi and let it fly, but probably shouldn't. Come back. If TFE handles the drones, do you want to head back and grab your ship? The below conflict so it can grab this thing? Whoa, 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 I'm getting shot. Yeah, 
I got it. Can't stick to this thing if I'm blown to pieces. Uh, there's still at least three drones up. So, okay, maybe yeah. Take out, take out the drones first, yeah. No, the skippy's running. We're not dealing with the skippy. Ow, wrong shit. <laughs> Fine. I will risk my wasabi. I'll leave it there. Because it's broadcasting anyway. Ah, why'd I lose my lock? Alright, I'm dampened relative to the Telesto. Yep. I'm on board. No, Please don't I shoot it. Not. Please take out the drones. For some reason, it's prioritizing the ship even though the drones are closer. Probably because you got to force it to change target. Oh no, the drone's been defanged, that's why. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, that's What's another drone down. Yeah, there's a space wasp. Hang on, I got it. No. No. Is it still... Is that the space wasp or is that your turrets? It was the space wasp shooting at you. And then I had to quickly turn my turrets off when I got closer to you. No. Uh, it no longer has a control. Inventory full. Inventory full. Inventory oh. full. Being disarmed. That was lucky. Inventory full. Inventory. Oh, full. where am I getting shot at? That's another drone. I got it. Quickly! The things take damage. On. I don't even know where my wasabi's at anymore. Uh, it's 2.2 kilometers away. There we go. We okay. got it. Okay. Try not to get the ship to take too much damage. Uh, have I taken Ooh. all the things now? Oh, it's got bad. two assert thrusters on. Uh, I own it. Nice. Uh, tanks. All tanks uh, intact and. Are any of the drones still firing, Kavak? It doesn't look like they're shooting. Uh, I'm on one's tail. Why am I... Yeah, but they're not turning around to fire. I think. Why uh, are the tanks draining? Uh, have you got hydrogen tanks that are turned on? Oh, turned on. Are they damaged or are the thrusters wrong? Must be damaged. No? There's no hydrogen thrust on this thing. Is there an uh, engine on board? There is an engine on board. Let's turn that off. Yeah, my... I still see a fruit fly meandering about. Yeah, it's about 2k's yeah. from me. It doesn't appear to be shooting though. Uh, Kapak, do you want to go grab your, um, Polo Conflict? Because you're going to have to take me home. What about this Wasabi? I'm going to head back to the Wasabi, so meet me at the Wasabi with the Polo Conflict. Um, but when we lose track of it once we get out of range? Lose track of what? Wasabi. The range. No, the Wasabi is the marker. It's got 50k's range on it. And you pick up this ship and I get in the Wasabi and we fly both home. I'm not going to be flying this ship home because this has got no lift. It's all gone. Oh no, it's not. There's two of them. One of them's damaged. Just landed upside down. Yeah, that went so well last time. Yeah. Oh, so it's fine for me to do it. No, it wasn't no, fine it wasn't for you fine. to do it. I thought my screaming made that very clear. Well, it would have been fine. People have just believed in me, rather than being naysayers. Ah, uh, yes, um, Ion Thrusters are powered by belief. <laughs> ah! Yeah? Ow. Oh. Okay. Yep, the base is shooting the drones for me. Ah, oh, it's trying to hit me! No! Well, that was ruthlessly efficient. Does anyone have a, a dissenting opinion to that? I didn't really see what happened. I was too busy dealing with drones. Yeah, but you were dealing with the drones, and I managed to get two of the turrets down with just a few shots. Oh. <laughs> and TFE took the others. Yeah, that was a bit close. Um, I need collided with the Capax crane. Mm, that's right. Pretty much everything else has collided with it at this point. Hey, Capac, this thing's got solar panels. Blame them. Blame the whole thing? All 943,000 kilos of it. You don't need the rest, just claim the solar panels. The, the, my big one. Yep. She's a hefty gal. It's quite a bit of my ship is empty space. 
true. This thing also has four full tanks of fuel, which have weight attached to them, if you recall. So I presume you, the H tram is now parked. About to be, yes. Capac, where are you? I'm about to dock from my connector. Oh, wow. How far away? Is it really going to take you guys that long to get home? It does when I stop for unknown signals to get a carpet drill. <laughs> Monster. I'm here. All right. Grab hold. Let's uh, head on down. Guess when we get into the gravity well, I'll put... Uh, why is it Skippy? Uh, Skippy angry. Skippy angry. What have you done? Well, lock on and let's get out of here. Uh, where's going to be the best place to connect? Well, I'm oriented according to moon gravity. So what, are you planning on just bumming a ride and staying attached to that thing while I take it down? Is that the plan? <laughs> exactly. Because uh, my first thought is to flip it upside down, have the tanks on the top so you would be underneath. Oh, just in case something goes wrong. Yeah. Does that help? I mean, I don't know if you want to stay attached in that particular oh, no, orientation. I mean, why not? No, I'll, I'll detach. I am connected. It's all yours? Oh, I need to turn off the dampness for it. Oh, yeah. Sick. Remember, though, if you need uh, any extra lift, this orientation, this thing only has a single ion thruster, so it can't really give you any help. Yep. May not be great. Uh, apparently the combined weight is 1.4. That's probably too much. You're going to need to orient in a way that you've got thruster help. Um, I mean, I downward thrust is my um, largest amount of thrust. No, 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 not, not yours, so the Telesto can use some of its. So once you get into gravity, I can enable its... Like, I can turn on dampeners and I'll just disable the other thrusters. Doesn't seem to have... It's a, So you got two choices. You can either have the two assert thrusters or three regular thrusters. The three regular ones... Uh, you'd need to grab it from the tanks. Yeah. Which might be easiest. Because then it can land on its big hydrogen thruster. Hey. When you first joined us, Kavak, you made many a successful landing. Surprisingly successful. But last week I started hearing rumors of a guy called Crash Pack. I don't know what you're talking about. Is that like one of those, uh, is it named like a test dummy? Maybe model? that's where it's coming from. I mean, you do have the hazard painted ship. So hopefully what we can do is just get you to fly that straight to where I can set those tanks up to connect to our base, which is near the grinder pit. Okay. Because then I can just grind off the large hydrogen thruster, whack a connector on there, we can connect it, siphon them, and then you can potentially drop this straight in the grinder pit. Inventory As is. Full. We can not worry about batteries if we actually need them later, but because of that NAT, we're kind of flush for batteries for a bit inventory full inventory i do full. so love the color of our base at the distance oh there you are like i just hadn't noticed you were right here and so it's almost like we should have done this last time <laughs> and you just go back ship so go back I if am... you can bring it over to here um are you sinking uh i am Oh. Uh, okay, don't drop it near my ship. Sinking in the way that you can lift it when you push against it? Uh, it is coming down here. Are you fully pushing against it? Looks like he is, judging by his thrusters. Well, they don't look like they're full plumes to me. So if you push hard, can you keep it aloft, Kavak? Yes. Okay. Just, just hold up for a sec. Just wait, just wait, just wait. Go up a little high. It's cheating. What? There you go. Um, now, if you can grab it onto, yeah. the, grab onto it at the tank, come back. Uh, 
Knives thrusters have so much stuff in them, it's really annoying to have to grind this by hand. Inventory full. Just went out face plant into it. You ready for this, Kamak? Are you gonna want me to try to connect this to something? Ooh. Yes. I guess I wanna watch this. Great. Yes. You ready? Are you sure there's even enough clearance over there with your giant hulk in the way? Be fine. Yes. I am. Are you sinking when you're just using your dampness? No. Nothing is moving. Uh, you are going upwards. Get out in and out of your cockpit quickly. Nope. Yeah, you are sinking when you're holding it. That's annoying. Now I'm terrified my bedroom is going to get damaged. Uh, possibly. It is in the line of fire. Especially as I actually care about whether it gets damaged. <laughs> well, I mean, it's not like yours is airtight right now. Isn't it? I don't think so. It is. Oh, it is? Within no. itself it is, at least. I'm not sure no. if... Um... It's not It's not pressurised, though. It's airtight, no. but not pressurised. Oh, doing very nicely, Capac. I will lock these as soon as I get an option. Oh, little left. Oh, down. Locked. Locked. Nicely done. That was not an easy maneuver. It's a good thing I didn't put a turret there ages ago. <laughs> um, so, Kabak, if you want, you can take your ship to the dock and you can put your sh tanks on stockpile. So can you, TFA. Uh, that's right. I might just leave it here and then it's ready when we have to move this thing. To the grinder pit? Yep. All right. Uh, well, then let's get those industrial stockpile. tanks and get them to stockpile. Yes. Don't know if I can get out, though. What? <laughs> Help. <laughs> uh, 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 there should be enough ju just space. A Thanks to the curve of the tank. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the unforeseen problems. So, we have a slight problem. What? Just one. We've actually filled the tanks on the base. Oh. Yeah, my ship's filled as well. <laughs> and so the tanks on the Telesto are actually filling right now. Uh, you're saying we need more tanks on the base? Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, I mean, an option would be to start getting tanks onto the uh, mothership oh. over here that we could fill up. Well, yeah, that's why I'm thinking at least f for the moment while we've got this space right now, add some extra tanks. Like, even if they're temporary tanks, we can, like, put replacement tanks and move stuff around later. I probably yeah. want to put them somewhere where the armor already is, so there's less risk of them being blown up. <laughs> well, there's a part of me that just wants to put them down here where the rest of the tanks are. Alrighty, hopefully that's enough tanks that we can have this Telesto emptied. Yep. Tank number one, empty. Tank number two, empty. Tank number three, empty. And tank number four, Empty! Come back, have you got a moment? Can you help me with something? With grinding this oh, thing no. down? Oh no! You both probably want to be part of this. Because I think this is going to be silly. Sounds like work. Uh, no, no. Not really. I mean, not really. Well, it'll be a little bit of work, but not a lot. Mm. I don't think this whole thing is going to fit down there. No, but I think it's going to fit in two pieces. So, Kamak, we could either do it with your ship. This is going to end up getting dropped into my bedroom, isn't it? Or I can try and do it with the little mining ship. Just cut it. No, I'm not going to just yeah. cut it. Let it fall. Yeah, no. let's do it. It'll go straight in. No, it, it might, but it'll probably destroy the well, the grinders when it gets in. Uh, no, we're on the moon. It'll be fine. Uh, I bet, uh, bet 7,683 space bucks. Is that what you got from your unknown signal? Wait, so not. Wait, so what's the difference between space credits and space bucks? Uh, yes. the symbol. All right, one of you guys grind off the mist, the conveyor that's holding it. Yeah, yeah grinding. Good. I can carry this thing. Slash, it can carry itself because it's got those thrusters. It's fine. Not for long. Uh oh. Uh oh. You're losing control. You're going the wrong way. Right. Go, go I'm rightward. I am trying to go rightward. I told you you should just drop it. You need like a blast shield like around it. 
Get in the hole, ship! Get in the hole! You are... Yeah, it's fine. Just go down. Yep. Uh, you did get the fancy thrusters off it, right? I did not. <laughs> um, do you have enough thrust to lift it back up? Well, not exactly. Uh, I need... Hmm. Um, well, hang on. Hang on. Can one of you go grab your mining ship and grab hold of uh, them? They're these ones. They're the two on top. They're the ones that I'm at right now. If you want, I should be able to now pull it out. Come back. Just use the advanced welding grinding thing and remove them. Yeah, yeah. I'm just getting rid of the nearby blocks to make it easier to access. So now just, just cut them off now. They should go out of the hole. Uh, they're going to fall a fair yeah, that's distance. Fine. That's fine. They'll be fine. Just do it quickly before I tip over. Trying. You keep moving around. That's because I'm tipping. Uh, there's one. Uh, it's not moving very much. Oh no, I got out of the cockpit. Oh. Okay. Uh, the it other one. Is... Plunk. Cut, cut it the other one no off. Damage. It took damage. Cut the other one off. Quick. Okay. okay. Alright, they're free. Everybody's clear. Oh, I need to get this thing in the hole. I can't get it in the hole. Come back. It's going to hit your ship. Yeah, oh. doesn't surprise me. Oh. Why are you taking off? <laughs> it seemed the best course of action to not eat your ship harder. Yeah, but, but you're going to have issues slowing down now. Oh, what, you just throw Oh, he's just going to bail on it. Well. No, it's going to hit the, one of the turrets. Oh no, it's going to fall short. Oh no. Oh, now it's intact. It's took well, it's not intact. It took damage. No, it didn't. Yes, it did. Oh, it's fine. I saw bits fly off it. No, it looks fine what to me. The... How much damage did I do to your what? ship, Capac? What? Uh, I'm not even looking at that. I'm looking at what on earth has happened to TFE's ship over here. Oh, yeah. What did you do to it? Uh, it's very shiny and from some angles very black. Wait, what? Oh. The thrusters all off. TFE, using the retro armor. How did you know? Why are my tanks empty? <laughs> Who's drained them? Did you not leave them on stockpile? I didn't leave it on stockpile because it was full. Yeah, but <laughs> I just put all the tanks on the base on stockpile no. to drain the Telesto. No. Alright, I'm bringing this back. And uh, I'm not getting any from stockpile. Yeah, because they're all on stockpile. <laughs> uh, it's industrial tank something or other. Yeah, it's all oh. the industrial tanks. Okay. Alright, can someone oh. guide me when I need to let go of this so it goes in the grinder pit? Yeah, I just... I, I took off before because I was like, this is gonna... This is tilting and getting worse and it's gonna land straight on Kavak's ship and I have no idea what sort of damage it's gonna do. So I was like, if I take off, I should be able to get mostly clear of it. And I just flung the thing away. That is not quite accurate. I'm starting to lose control. Uh-oh. What the... What the... What did you just do? You just crashed on your own. <laughs> I ran out of fuel. Ow. <laughs> uh, Kavak, you want to use your ship to nudge it into the hull? Uh, not particularly. No. Whoa. Ow! What? Did you just Die. crush yourself to death? <laughs> what? I did. <laughs> I think I just squished myself to death. Inventory Here we go. Full. I have a solution. Inventory full. But that's not a solution. Totally a solution. How is this not a solution? Uh, because you, you just managed to salvage a few pieces of glass and left the majority of the ship underground. That wasn't me. That's me. <laughs> My solution is the piston. Oh. Here we go. More nudge. Oh. Kavak, did you add a whole lot of armor to the front? Yep. Why? To encourage it. I think it's discouraging it right now. Going in! The more consumes all. Oh. More still plates. Consume. 
there doing anything? No. You better go down there and check. Oh. There it goes again. Just turn them off and turn it back on. Power cycling, the answer to all your IT woes. Oh, where's the pits getting flung out? Oh. There's one. Catch it. <laughs> Probably get to the top, huh? Yep. Let me know when you're ready for me to unlock. And thus the Telesto is bestowed unto the Earth of the Moon. Oh. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Much painting. Fine. All right. Success. I have to figure out how to refuel the miner, but success. Uh, TFE appears to have built. Um. The Ubor crossed with the Teal Terror? Turned into a flying fish ship? Well, I'm gonna call that a massive success, getting that Telesto in. Getting all that fuel. We've actually got something of a hull shape that I'm happy with on the capital ship, the carrier now. So. Next time, I guess, I'll try and work on, with Capac, where we're going to put, um... Ooh, you're going with gates in here. Oh! We can make little buggies that can drive along. Yeah, I was thinking about that. They're going to have to be connected when then when we're in motion, though, because they will... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it'll be bad. But yes, we can. Yeah, we uh, could. Yeah. But yeah, I think this could work for the main sort of lateral corridors. Yep, yep. So yeah, I'll I'll try and get some more work done on the armor outside so that we've got a clearer idea of what space we've got to play with. We'll try and get some tanks in here next time. Maybe even tanks. start... Tanks? Yeah, hydrogen yeah, tanks. Yeah, tank hanger. Yeah, I want to make a tank. Flying tank. You might be able to eventually. That's, that's the point. Yeah, We're we going to have like a... Fly off out of here with the caterpillar on board. Yeah, is this going to have like a loading ramp or something? Uh, it's going to have a loading lift, so like the whole hang, the whole floor section of the hangar will drop down to ground level. That doesn't look very safe. What? You keep like balancing on one leg right on the edge. Ah, I had. Um, you just keep crouching. Oh, there you go. Yeah, like that. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I'm levitating. Ah. <laughs> Next time, all those things. So there's all that and plenty more to come. And Capac will shoot wildly then. And TFE. Catch you next time, everybody. Bye. <sighs> no energy. Yeah, I'm not a big fan. So in my, um, what the? Why am I dying? Power. Because you Capac? Master of Deaths? Ah, no, I'm out of energy. Right. Did you just die? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Suffocated. Well, I'm not gonna be. I won't be putting that one in.